Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to solve the counting values problem from HackerRank. This is rated as an easy problem and I'll be solving it using JavaScript. And just as a heads up, my solution might not be the most optimized solution out there, but it's the one that I came up with and I find easiest to explain to you guys. So for this problem we have a hiker who starts at sea level and can either go up or down in elevation with every step that he takes and this sequence of steps is represented by a string of U's and D's. So a valley is defined as going below sea level and then returning to sea level. So while below sea level the hiker can make any sequence of up or down movements but it doesn't count as a completed valley until he returns to that point of sea level. So as you can see with this diagram a valley doesn't have to be a perfectly round bump. And then we also have uh, a small mountain here, and a mountain is defined as just the opposite of a valley, going above sea level and then at some point returning to it. So essentially, every time you're at sea level, aside from when you start at it, you get either a mountain or a valley. Now for this problem, we just have to count valleys, um, but doing the same for mountains won't be too difficult uh, once you figure out how to do valleys. So uh, the trick here kind of is to focus on sea level. And, and treat that as a, as a trigger point to count the valleys. And you'll see what I mean once we start coding. So uh, if you look over here, we have our counting valleys function, and we are taking in two things, n, which is the total number of steps, and s, which is our string sequence of u's and d's. So n is actually the same as the length of s, uh, so we don't really need it, but we can use it anyway. So the first thing you want to do is define two variables. The first is our valley counter. And then the second is going to be our elevation tracker. And we can use zero to represent sea level. Uh, the next thing we want to do is create a loop to iterate through our sequence of U's and D's. So we can just use a for loop. And then we want to loop as long as there are characters left. So we can just do uh, i is less than n. And then, of course, increment i. Now within this loop, we want to check two things. Uh, the first is for d's, and then the second is for uh, u's. So we can just say if um, our character is equal to d, and then else uh, we'll catch all of our u's. Because we can only have d's or u's. So um, the next thing we want to do within this if statement for d is decrement our elevation counter. And then we want to do the opposite in our else block. So now the next step is the most important, and that is counting the valleys. So essentially, all you have to do is in our else block, which is uh, an up step, right, we want to check that we were at negative 1 before incrementing, right? Because if we're going from negative 1 to 0 elevation, that basically means we're returning to sea level and we've completed one valley. So all you have to do is write if our elevation is equal to negative 1, increase our number of valleys. And then make sure uh, this if block, of course, is before we increase the elevation. Um, and then don't forget to increase the elevation because we are counting uh, u essentially here. So that's pretty much it. All we have to do now is return our values and we're done. So we can just take all of this code, paste it in on hacker rank, submit, and there we go. It passes all of the tests. So thanks guys for watching this quick tutorial. I hope I was able to help. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will hopefully see you in a future video. Thanks again.